Oh my god, you guys. Well, she's finally maxed. Actually, you guys, the clip in the beginning was a few days ago, so I've had my Max Queen for quite some time now, and all I can say is, she's pretty beast. But anyways, what's up fellow Clashers from all around, or if it's your first time here, thank you for stopping by and watching this video. My name's Infamous9, and today we have the 16th episode of 3 Star Specialist, and I know it's been a while, you guys, I know it's been a while, but shit, we're finally here, so let's hop straight into it. Showing you guys how many 3 stars we have so far. And we have 6 3 stars which is not that bad. And by the way this is a feeder clan to our plunder family. And we are a level 3 clan going up against a level 7 clan. I don't know what's up with the matchmaking right there but whatever. This is a collaboration with one of my fellow YouTubers out there Michael. The guy does a lot of base designs and when I say a lot I mean a shit ton you guys. A lot of farming hybrid war bases and I like the fact that he uploads a video on how to do the base and then another one showing replays of the base. So uh, definitely a pretty good thing. Go ahead and check him out if you guys want to. This is another base called the Caliber. I'm just using it and we'll go ahead and try it out and see how it does but I'll provide his link down in the description below. Check him out if you guys want to and this is the only way we can actually collab for now because he doesn't do commentaries like I do just um, videos of the base designs but Let's go ahead and continue with this episode, so sorry for that delay. So let's see. Attacking this Town Hall 10 right here. Rush, look at this base, man. Rush, that's fuck. And I feel pretty confident I can uh, wreck him real quick. So let's go ahead and do, let's see. First things first, let's lower out the Clan Castle Troops right here by this Archer Tower with a Giant right here. And depending on what comes out the Clan Castle, if it's a Dragon with two Balloons, then I'm going to drop a point Spell on them to try to take down the Balloons right from the beginning. But if it's a Lava Hound, then I'll save my Poison Spell, uh, just in case this guy has uh, any skeletons inside the actual base. But from there, I think it's pretty safe to start the actual attack now, so I'm going to spawn my Golems, let's see. One right here on the bottom left, that center right here, and the last one top to the right. And just behind and spawn all my Wizards, obviously, to create the proper funnel. And if you guys notice, this guy has a lot of high hit point structures on the outside of his base, such as these storages so they're definitely going to stall my troops for quite some time so to prevent some of that time I'm going to drop my queen just to speed things up and you know try to get into the core as quick as we can because I, I gotta wreck this guy as fast as I can man so check this out without the help of any wall breakers I'm going to get into the core baby I'm going to drop a jump spell right here covering up this grid and obviously the huge ass core so giving me access to the core right from the beginning you guys and I like that I can use those extra spots on other troops and basically my plan with this jump spell is to try to redirect all my golems from all directions to go straight into the core my bad you guys it's kind of ugly let me draw it again so basically redirect all my golems uh, straight into the core and that way they can take up most of the heat before I can actually start spawning the remaining of my troops but just behind them I'm gonna spawn all my Valkyries and probably delay them a little bit but just behind them after a while I'll drop all my Valkyries to try to get in towards the core and at the very end I'm gonna drop my King because I wanna try to prevent him from taking any damage at all from at the very beginning because that usually happens you guys hopefully it doesn't happen to me this time but after that once all my troops get into, into the core it's gonna get pretty hectic for sure man but after that I'm gonna drop uh, Rage Pro right here bottom right right here because this guy has both of his infernos set to multi-target, so they will target all my troops right from the beginning, right from the entry. So I need that extra speed and power uh, in the entry. But because I want to get rid of both these infernos and obviously the queen, right? Um, I'm going to drop a healing spell dead center right here to cover up the entire core. And I know that the healing doesn't counteract the inferno, but just after I drop the healing spell for the Valkyries, I'm going to drop the free spell right here to try to cover up both of these infernos and obviously whatever it's behind him but I think I can actually do it I can actually cover both of these infernos with one free spell right here and I know it's five seconds but shit man those five seconds that's all I need baby that's all I need and after that I think we can get started by spawning our back end balloons right here by this um, bottom cannon right here and hopefully these balloons can actually work the way uh, towards the upper section of defensive structures hold on I'll highlight it real quick but Hopefully they can take out these defensive structures as they target my troops in the core. After that, I'll drop a haste ball up top right here. 
a few more balloons to try to bring down the splash damage and then the remaining of my balloons were here towards the left right here by this cannon or archer tower I don't know but again dropping him only when these defensive structures are busy targeting my troops in the core and my bad that this breakdown did take a while you guys but uh wait wait hold on real quick I remember saying my bad one time and my friend told me you know you apologize too much so you know what Fuck that shit, I take it back. I'm gonna take my time, but let's go ahead and get started now. So, two golems coming in with Govalk, by the way. Two golems, ten Valkyries, twelve withers, five balloons, one giant, two archers, one golem in the clan castle, one poison, one healing, one rage, one jump, one freeze, one haste, and my heroes. And holy shit, that was long, you guys, my bad. That Look, there I go, apologizing again. I was gonna say my bad, it took a long time, but fuck it. Fuck it. So, <laughs> let's just get started. So, spawning one giant right here, and let's see what comes out. Okay, so we have one dragon and two balloons. So I'm gonna drop a point spell on them just to bring down the balloons right from the beginning and to damage the dragon. And after that, I'm gonna try to lower out the dragon a little bit more outside towards the base with one archer and just to make it easier to bring him down. So, okay, so find the archer now. Come on, archer. Oh, peace out. <laughs> peace out. Okay, I, fuck it. I think that's close enough. So we'll spawn our, a golem right here, another one right here. Last one top to the right, now spawning all our wizards being really selective again, keep in mind that I want to bring down all these structures and holy shit, it, it's getting kind of hard to try to commentate and process all of this at the same time, so dropping the queen right here and let's wait a little bit for the jump spell, not right now, so okay, so now it's a good time dropping the jump spell, now let's go ahead and spawn all my valkyries, peace out, the top right golem didn't want to go towards the core, it's not going towards the core, so dropping all our valkyries, now our king, dropping our rage spell right here, now let's drop our healing spell and now let's drop this freeze. Come on. Please get both infernos. Ah, oh, peace out. I missed that inferno. Hopefully it doesn't affect us too much. But I missed that inferno. Slightly I missed it. And let's spawn a few more balloons right here on this cannon right here. Well, first two right here. Dropping the haste spell atop to the... Um, by this wizard tower. And now let's wait till they start targeting my troops in the core. So I think that's a good time now. Dropping the last one right here on the left archer tower. And I think that was a little bit too early, you guys. Yeah, definitely a little bit too early. Uh, being targeted, my balloons are being targeted. They're about to go down, and I don't know how it's looking right now. It can it can go either way. Two stars or three stars? Not too sure. I still have both of my heroes' abilities, so let's hit our king's ability now because he's about to go down. We have one more balloon up, so that's definitely good. My queen is right behind my king, so my king is tanking for her, and that's definitely working out in my favor, you guys. So it's gonna be a close call. Peace out. My last balloon just went down, spawning my last archer um, by the top army camp, and. And now it's up to my heroes, you guys. Ah, damn, man. I missed that Inferno, you guys. That was a shitty free spell. If I would've got both Infernos, I think I would've done it. But I don't know. Now I, it's going to be up to my queen. Come on. Is she going to be the MVP? I don't know. We have to see. Peace out. Don't you do it, queen. Please don't go. Okay, okay. I was about to say, hopefully she doesn't go off towards the top. She has to stay behind my king. And she has to be on both of these defensive structures. So my king is tanking for her right now. And come on. Yeah, 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 we have her ability. She's level 30. Who am I kidding? She's a beast. Look at this. You get it, queen. Come on. You, you wrecked that archer tower right now. You get it. Get that shit, queen. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys. And definitely, definitely going to be a three-star now. So I still have her ability. I'll hit it by that high hit point structure. And I don't know. I wasn't too happy with that free spell, but again, sorry it took a piece out there. I go fucking apologizing again. I got to stop doing that. It took a long time, so I'm going to end it after this raid. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this raid. It went more or less according to plan. I had to improvise a little bit, and it was getting kind of complicated because I was trying to commentate again at the same time. And there was just so much shit going on. This one was a little bit more difficult uh, than what I'm used to. But real quick, thank you, Michael, for the small collaboration. Even though we didn't talk much to each other, it's still fine. Go ahead and check out his channel, you guys, if you guys want some good base designs. Well, some of them are all right. Some of them you got to work on. But as always, you don't have to jam to be good. Just keep practicing.